Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and you are watching the AG Office Project. The series where I document my journey from start to finish, renovating and decorating Team AG's new headquarters. Woohoo! <laughs> I need to take a step back -aroni. It's actually 95% chaos. <laughs> Just being real over here. Love it. <gasps> okay, let's get started. This is so exciting because today is the first episode of the new series where you guys get to watch me demo and reno this entire studio into the AGHQ. So, so exciting. I wanna give a huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. More about them later, but for now, let's head into day one of the reno. Just to recap, for those of you who might be new here, my team and I are moving into a brand new studio. Up until now, Alana and I have been working at my tiny dining room table. James has been working in his apartment. Hi. And I really wanted to bring us all together in one space. We literally can't work out of my living room. Like even the two of us were just kind of bursting at the seams. So if you guys missed the first episode kind of of this series, it was like, it was like a preview of this series. I will link it right up here. Make sure you click that. I go through my design plans for this space, where everything is gonna go in the studio, showing Lana the studio for the first time. And you can really see it and it's like, OG form. When it was like a literal construction zone. So make sure you pause this video, go watch that one, and then come back to this one and watch the whole process begin. Hi guys. Demo started on the studio on Friday. So Alana and I are leaving now. We just called an Uber. We're going to see the progress. So come along with us on this exciting adventure of day one of Studio AG's Reno. Okay hey guys, we're here. Blaine, are you excited? So excited. Woohoo! We also have wrapped basically all of our makeovers, except a couple until the end of the year. So the studio is the only thing we're focusing on, which is so exciting. Let's go up and see what it's looking like. So there are a team of contractors working on this space. They are going to tear down the ceiling, the walls, painting. They're gonna be building a new little editor suite for me. The window has been exposed, which is so, so fun. I just love it, it's such a fun feature. Tomorrow, we're gonna be planning out the kitchen. We just came here to take measurements of that and make sure we have all the measurements for when we plan. But yeah, it's looking good. The ceilings down make it look so much higher. And I think they're gonna be painting on Thursday. So a lot is gonna change. So let's take a last look at what it looks like. So it's day two, we are going back to the studio to see what progress they've made in a day. This whole process is so fun. I've never been part of a reno like this and it really is like watching everything that's in my mind come to life in person. So Elena and I have come to check in and this is the first thing I see. James' editor suite. Okay, let's look. Wow. Yeah. It looks so good. It looks bigger with this wall here. I love how this editing suite turned out. I was a little bit nervous about closing this studio off at all, but James really wanted a separate space as most editors do, so he can really focus on editing and not having a ton of distraction around him. So I knew that this was necessary, but I was a little bit worried that it was going to kind of impede on all the light that comes through those windows. But seeing it today was so amazing because I actually think it does a really good job of dividing the space. It doesn't make the openness feel so intimidating. I also love how this wall creates a little entryway. I wasn't really sure what we were gonna do for an entryway, but now I have such a clear vision for it. Every day we're just gonna come in, see our little wall. I'm so excited. It just feels so real. Yay. Now it's time for us to head home and start planning the shelves that are going along that back 
wall. So if you missed my first video, I wanted to do floor to ceiling floating shelves on the back wall to put all of our decor, to put some plants, just to have like a storage space, but also something that's really decorative as well. So I just picked up the vlog camera because we had a bit of a hiccup in our plans as always with renovations like at least one thing goes wrong so this morning i woke up to a text from chico saying that he cracked his ribs no god please no 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 you guys go leave chico some love down in the comments he really needs it right now so he was going to install and custom make our shelving for this Friday. So the whole place is being demoed. It's all getting ready for Friday so we can start shooting and like making it over. He can no longer make the shelves, obviously, because he cracked his ribs. So we are now trying to figure out how we're gonna do this ourselves. And I'm thinking we're gonna be using Ikea shelves and brackets. And Alana, who's like a magician when it comes to planning, is mocking out this onto the computer. So she's calculating the exact space between the windows. And basically, we're gonna take the measurements of the Ikea shelves that I wanna use and drag them in and see how it looks. The issue here is that there's not an equal distance between the windows, as you guys can see. So if we do the 47 inch shelves, there's a bit of a gap on this side, on the left side, but then no gap on this side. And I'm worried it's gonna look a little bit weird. I don't know, what do you think, Lana? It's only gonna be like the difference of like four inches. So like on that, on the left side. If we put stuff on the shelves, it might not even be noticeable. I think that we should just go for these shelves. Like any reno, things pop up and you just kind of have to roll with the punches. And here at Team AG, we're used to that. We're used to problem solving. It's not all glamorous. It's actually 95% chaos. So update, Ikea doesn't have the shelves we need. I just called Danny Berger and asked for her opinion and I actually think we're just gonna get the brackets and then we're gonna go to the hardware store on Friday and just either find melamine, which is what she used for my bedroom shelving, or wood shelving. We're just gonna have to go and see what they have. That way, we don't have to worry about it looking off because we'll get them custom cut so that they'll fill each length of wall, which is great. So before we head into the next day of the reno process, I wanna give a shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. I love partnering with Squarespace because I know that there are so many people sitting at home right now and our lives are really different. We're contemplating, you know, where we wanna work or what we wanna do and if we wanna start a side hustle. And if you are someone who wants to start a website or a blog, I would highly recommend starting with Squarespace. They make it so easy to design a blog, start a storefront. The thing I love most about Squarespace is their beautiful templates. My website is run by Squarespace. I'm constantly updating it and I find it really user-friendly. It's all drag and drop and it just means that as a busy business owner, I don't have to worry about sitting for hours to try and figure out like HTML code. The other thing I love about Squarespace is that it's kind of a one-stop shop. So in the back end, you can see what blog posts are performing well, what products are selling out the quickest. You can even send out email campaigns. So it really is a one-stop shop to kind of do everything from one space. Of course, I have a discount code for you guys. To start your free trial, head to squarespace.com slash alexandragator and use my code in the description box for 10% off your first website or domain. Okay, now let's head into the next day of Studio Reno. So it is Thursday, we're heading back to the studio to see where everything's at. Today is painting day, which is so excited. Jason and Yari are gonna be using a paint sprayer, which I've actually never seen in action, so that's really fun. And they're basically like painting everything white. My dream, basically. Just like a crisp white studio. So we can come in and add paint and color and decorate it with lots of fun things. So let's head there now and see where they're at. Today is the day when the studio is getting painted, they're gonna paint the kitchen wall pink and then just spraying everything else white. But this is what it's looking like now. The baseboards are in, all the electricals done. You guys, it's coming along so nicely. I'm just, I'm thrilled. Okay guys, I wanna show you the color that we're going for for the kitchen. 
Ooh, I love it. It's gonna go on a lot pinker than that, but stunning. I love it, obsessed. Okay, painting is going to commence. That is so satisfying. Okay, y'all. Like, I the most it. satisfying. Ah, okay, that was so satisfying to watch. Tomorrow, it'll be all painted, which is so exciting. So catch you guys tomorrow morning. Okay guys, it is Friday, it's the end of the week. Alana and I are both like just so excited, but so exhausted. We're not even doing any of the physical work, but it's been such a cool week to see it all come together. And the team of contractors are incredible. I'm gonna link them down below, actually, if you guys are looking for a team of contractors, they're amazing. But today is shelf install day. So we're heading to the hardware store to pick up the materials we need. So we're in the hardware store and we are getting nine pieces of a melamine board. Melamine, Mel melamine, melamine? Melamine or melamine? Melamine? Melamine. Melamine? Melamine. 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 Okay, nine pieces of this melamine board. I mean, whatever, I guess. Which is gonna be cut down into 12 shelves. And we're not putting anything too heavy on it. And we have three brackets per shelf to support the melamine. So it should be more than sturdy. Yeah, we're just gonna load them up in the cart and then get them cut. This is a really cost-effective material. It's the same material that Danny Berger used to build my shelves in my bedroom. And wood is just really expensive. We're gonna do 12 shelves in total. So getting really nice wood would have been quite expensive. And I think melamine is gonna do the trick. I did make a call to Danny Berger and was like, is melamine... <laughs> hey, is melamine... <laughs> I called Danny and I actually asked her, is melamine sturdy enough for what we're doing? And she was like, absolutely, go with melamine, it's great. Now it's time to head to the studio with our melamine and start hanging those shelves. Right now we are planning the placement of them and we're using painter's tape to map everything out, which is so helpful. I'm such a visual person, I need to be able to like see things because I can see it in my head, but I need to also make sure I see it in the space. I knew I didn't want all the shelves to have an equal distance between them because I want to be able to hang like larger art prints on some of the shelves, maybe larger plants. When these shelves are styled, I really wanted them to look like they have a lot of dimension to them. I want to be able to play with height. So that's why we aren't creating an equal distance between each shelf. The middle shelf, we're actually going with three shelves because I have a really big print that I wanna put like right in the center. So I needed to create lots of height. It's like a 61 by 91 frame, which is pretty big. The shelves are done. I'm hanging the last three. They look incredible. Like this is the exact picture I had in my mind. I cannot wait to decorate these. We're also gonna have Jason and Yari paint all the hardware white. So they're gonna go in and touch it all up so that you don't notice the black and the silver screws because I know it's a bit of an eyesore. Alana and I are leaving for the day. We have lots of shopping to do for the studio, but Jason and Yari are going to finish painting the floor and the kitchen. Let's take a look at what this studio looked like on Monday morning. And this is what the studio is looking like now. We have that really fun pink, kind of peachy color in the kitchen. The floor is all white. The shelves are up, the walls are painted. We have this really cozy editor studio. This is feeling so, so real. And on this Friday, I kind of got teary-eyed a couple times because 
this vision is coming to life. I'm just, I'm so excited. Team AG is so excited to move into this new space, to decorate it, to make it our own. Next week's episode is going to be all about the kitchen. So Ikea is installing our kitchen and I take you through the complete design process from start to finish. Make sure you're subscribed. We have so many new episodes from this series coming out every single week, sometimes twice a week. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss it. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Make sure you head to squarespace.com slash Alexandra Gator to start your free trial and use my code to get 10% off your first website or domain. Thank you guys for coming along this journey. I cannot wait to show you the studio progress next week. Bye.